So, in today's video, I want to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to install Fallout London on Linux. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, Fallout London is, as they say, an ambitious, trailblazing DLC-sized mod for Fallout 4. It's been out for a little while now. Um, it's a mod that I've been watching the development of over the years, and I'm actually pretty excited to give it a go. But being a mod, it's not quite a simple just download and install, especially when we're installing Fallout from Steam and we're installing the mod from GOG. So the first thing I'm going to do is install Fallout from Steam. Now, Fallout 4 will work on Linux without any compatibility. I'm not 100% sure which would be the best way to do it. I think I'm going to use compatibility and we'll just use Proton 9. But this is basically going to ensure that we have a Windows version of Fallout installed on Linux. And I feel like that's going to be the better way to do this. I don't know yet. I haven't done this. This could totally turn out to be wrong. And this video may not even end up on YouTube. So I'm going to start installing that. And we're just going to use the default install location, which is my home directory. And while that's downloading, we'll jump over to GOG and we'll install Fallout London as well. Um, and same, we're just going to use the standard install location. And because I live in the country and I'm connected to the internet via Australia's wonderful wireless MBN network, I'll see you in a couple of days when this download's completed. <laughs> okay, so they're both installed now. And um, I'm on the Fallout London website on the page fallout4london.com forward slash release and their instructions say currently it is a requirement that if you own the game on steam for you to downgrade fallout 4 to the next pre-gen alpha pre-next gen <laughs> and instructions on downgrading are here we can use a downgrader tool now i believe as you just kind of come to expect being a linux user Okay, so it says simply launch the felon downgrader.exe or via the bash script. Source code is available here. This is not something I expected. All right, being on GitHub, let's see. <laughs> and this is a new build. I haven't even installed Git yet. Uh, anyway, so maybe I shouldn't be using compatibility mode with Fallout 4. I'm guessing we run that. Let's see how this goes. Uh, the path to Fallout 4 in Steam, if we browse local game files, there's the path, my Steam username. It's asking for my Steam password. So, all right, so I've found in the source code um, this section where we just went past. Please input a path. What is the path of Fallout 4? So I literally just did that. So here it asks for what is my Steam username. And here it asks, what is my Steam password? And it stores it in a variable name password. It's also going to ask for a Steam Guard code. Now, it doesn't appear to be subprocess.run. So I wouldn't say I've had an exhaustive look, but I don't see anywhere where it's um, doing anything malicious with your username and password. Do I have Steam Guard on mobile? No. Steam Guard on email. All right, and so it's essentially, it's running the Steam command line application and it's downloading each of the depots. This is probably going to take some time, so I'll just let it record and um, we'll come back to it when it's finished. But this is essentially downloading the, the pre-next-gen version of Fallout 4. so that's finished that took ages um but i guess it downloaded probably another 30 odd gig worth of fallout 4 it opened up this window by itself i assume that we'll be installing manually 
I don't want to use a mob manager. Um, once you have downgraded Fallout 4, to manually install Fallout London without the use of installer, start by going where the GOG has downloaded the files to. So if we go manage installation, show folder. Um, I don't know where this is on the scheme of the Linux um, file system. So oh, I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, okay, so by default, games will be installed to home slash GOG games. I don't have a home GOG games. I'll bet it's under here. Oh, hang on. I want to do that under my home folder. All right, so there's our path. That's all the files. Okay, so inside of this folder, you'll find the installer, F4SE, the data folder, and more. So it looks like we just replaced the data folder from Fallout London. Copy that. We'll save this. And then we'll paste. And then it says in the config, we want these Fallout 4 files in... Now, where are these, these files? I've modded Fallout 4 on Linux before. Uh, it's this folder. And it's this folder because 377160 is the app ID for Fallout. So, yeah. Now we would pretend like we're on Windows. Um, okay, I believe that folder doesn't exist because we haven't run Fallout yet. So, all right, so we'll start this. All right, so I seem to have um, loaded the loading screen. All right, so does that mean we should now have? There we go. So let's exit that. Okay, so this is our path. All right, so these are the Fallout London ones. We're in the Fallout London config. We will replace them. And as far as I understand, that should be it. Which means I'm going to have to switch my audio around because I wasn't kind of expecting <laughs> to be recording some gameplay just like this. Alright, so now I can I can even hear myself in the headphones, but that's fine. Make sure we're going out through the audio interface. Alright, low quality. Let's go options. That should be okay. Now this could be a total flop. Let's see. <laughs> Game just crashed. Fantastic. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's just do this. We'll put back our original data folder. Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at Vault-Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Our next area of attention is intelligence. All right, well, the game works with the original files. Um, it looks like we're running the old version, which is good. So it's obviously I just didn't install the mod correctly. So it's the following day and to prevent Steam from updating Fallout, which it tried to do as soon as I loaded Steam today, I've gone straight into Steam Go Offline to prevent the update. But at the moment, if we hit play on Fallout, um, it looks like we have the old pre-next gen version. We're locked to 60 frames, it looks like. And it says that um, game update is required. So I'm assuming that means that we're running the right version. So let's go into the game files. So this is the original data folder and the original Fallout 4 folder. And in this Fallon folder, I have 
the data and Fallout folder from Fallout London. And I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I did yesterday. So let's see if this works. I want to copy those. This is the Fallout London files. Um, I'm going to create a backup of this first. Now let's grab the Fallout London files. And instead of replacing this whole directory, we want to merge the two together right into. And every file that we can overwrite, we will overwrite. And fingers crossed. We're working. <laughs> so that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> And of course I screwed up myself. But sometimes after spending a day on a computer, your brain stops working. So sometimes I find when something doesn't work, it's good to just stop, go and have a sleep and come back to it the next day with a fresh mind. Let's go Fallout London. <laughs> I've been so looking forward to this. And I've got to say, I'm impressed with Team Fallon with their um, uh, Linux Python script, the Fallout downgrader. I'm impressed that they had a Linux script. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. So I'm not going to include any gameplay in this video. I think we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Um, and Remember, this is not a how-to because if you do it like I did, <laughs> you'll screw up halfway through. <laughs> Catch you in the next one.